Can you transmit Morse code or CW on a handheld? Possibly a Baofeng? The answer is yes and no. Maybe and why? Let me explain. How's it going everybody? I'm Josh, KI6NAZ. Welcome to the Ham Radio Crash Course. Today I'm tackling a relatively simple question, but one that comes up a lot, particularly as you might have noticed in my channel, we're doing a lot more with Morse code these days. The question is, can you do CW or Morse code on a Baofeng? And it's usually something along those lines. They'll say, hey, can you do CW on a Baofeng? Can you do Morse code on a Baofeng? Well, the answer to those things is actually two separate things, and that's the point of this video. I'm making it for two reasons. One, to explain why, and then hopefully so that people don't ask this question. I think you know here on the Hammer Radio Crash Course we have a very inclusive community where we try and answer people's questions without belittling them. However, this is one of those questions that if you were to ask that to some hams, they will think you're kind of dumb or possibly just don't understand or very new to ham radio. Because it's a little bit of a nuance. Let me start with the easy one first. Can you transmit Morse code on your handheld? Yeah, absolutely. Morse code is just a representation of English expressed in dits and dots, little short beeps and long dashes, right? Well, if I were to pick up a radio and say, can I transmit English on this? The answer is yes. Can I transmit English from here? That's all Morse code is. It's just a different way of representing English. You can transmit Morse code with a flashlight, with your eyes, which has been done during the Vietnam War. POWs would blink torture, right, while they were reading a statement that they were told they must read by the Viet Cong. So that's the easy one. Yeah, you can express Morse code however you want, but you probably wouldn't on an HT like this. And that gets to the second part. Now the other question, can you transmit CW on this handheld? No, this is an FM, frequency modulated handheld. It's designed, this mode of operation is designed to take the complexities of my human speech, modulate it, and put it out as frequency modulated signals in RF. Those signal bandwidths, meaning the space that must be occupied or must be used to express the complexities of my voice is anywhere from 10 to 15 kilohertz. On the flip side, this very simple CW only transceiver puts out 100 to 150 hertz depending. This is just an example. Meaning the bandwidth to express a dit or a daw in its pure sine wave form is very, very tiny. There's not much complexity in Morse code. That's why it's so efficient and effective. Go watch my last video on you know, using CW or Morse code as a preparedness minded person. You'll find that this is a very efficient mode to pick up and think about. So this tiny radio that absolutely sips battery and puts out CW is going to be very, very efficient in terms of operation. You can run this on a 9 volt battery for hours and it's not that big a deal. On the other hand, this guy putting out 5 watts, basically the same thing, both 5 watts output pretty much. Uh, this guy doing frequency modulation at 10 to 15 kilohertz, much bigger bandwidth, is going to end up drawing more battery just to do the things that it does. Because again, human voice is complex and we want to pipe that through modulate it and get it out as RF. So in a longer form answer, why? why? Why would anyone want to do this? Why would you want to key up and use Morse code on your radio? Uh, there's not a whole lot of reasons. You may have one. It's kind of esoteric. People won't understand what you're necessarily doing, but you're not truly encoded, encrypted, etc., etc. So maybe you'll have a reason for doing it. But remember, once you key this down, and even if you have a little buzzer or beeper and you're putting Morse code through this, like literally a code oscillator to send dits and daws through FM, it's still being expressed as 10 to 15 kilohertz. So there's no efficiency gains. There's no reason to really do it. You're still going to have, you know, some difficulty in getting the propagation you want if you're trying to go longer distance with FM 2 meter 70 centimeter radios. Now some of you are already typing in the keyboard very quickly, but Josh, on my local repeater, I hear a Morse code tone. Ah, that's not because of efficiency or anything like that. That's because the repeater is required to squawk out the call sign of the repeater owner 
within you know every 10 minutes or so as required right so they're just using that as a way to express the call sign uh, some repeaters are older and they generally still use the morse code because it's super effective and super short so just bam 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 throw out the call sign get on with the conversation on the repeater versus some of them actually have a human voice that will play which you've probably heard on the air on some repeaters now fear not you, you can do morse code actually on a mode cw putting your mo your radio into cw mode it's primarily a thing on hf but there are radios that work in the two meter and 70 centimeter space and higher that will do cw if you are so interested in that and that's generally called weak signal operation on those higher frequency bands. Lots of people do it, it's still a thing, it's, it's great fun. You just may find that because it still is line of sight, you may not have a lot of people to transmit to. That's why Morse code is still often the king, particularly when it comes to very portable small radios such as this one. Hey everybody, if that video was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up if you have not already consider subscribing right there down below. And if you click that bell, you'll get notified when I go live which is generally every Saturday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and every other Wednesday for Ham Nation. Wednesdays, 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Hello, why are you not working? Can you...